Dude, hiking's not bad, guys. I swear, I got cardio. Elevation, I believe, is a myth. And uh, once we get rid of this dad bod, we'll actually look like an athlete, not a half -late. What up, guys? We're at the bottom of Peak 9. We're driving up to Peak 10. We're gonna go snowboarding. I got Jonathan with me. We got Shadow and Shelby, and this is Shelby's first time ever snowboarding. Jonathan's first time back snowboarding since the pandemic, so it's gonna be a six, six shred. So let's let's get it. They're moving all the snow blowers. You know what that means? It's about to start making some snow. snow here it definitely melted down from when roman was out here ripping which by the way guys do you see those drone shots are they sick make sure you smash the like button if the drone shots were sick and then go check out this video of roman snowboarding here the last time we were here because it was super sick other than that let's get dressed and figure out what we're gonna do last time we were here there was a tube and i don't see the tube so that's a bummer but we'll figure something out we're doing snowboarding it's gonna be sick how's the drive shelby all right so we're here we have a chunk of snow a good chunk of snow with a good pitch and honestly the sun pockets Unlike St. Mary's Glacier, like they're not that bad here. This is 100% rideable. I'm walking here, guys. We just gotta figure out what we wanna do because we didn't bring any features. I did just get a bunch of new rails and stuff. They're so sick. Maybe I'll show them to you guys later when we get back home. But uh, they're, they're too big for my FJ. So we didn't bring anything out here. The whole world, we can figure it out. We can, like jump these rocks. We can, I don't know, we can figure it out. Where my mind is going, what I'm thinking is just, there's a pile of rocks here. Let's jump it. So we'll probably take snow from here, build our lip, and then clean up the landing just a little bit. But yeah, and just strap in by that rock, point it, we're off. <laughs> Right, the jump is built. Does that look sketchy? Small jump over. It's probably about an eight foot gap. Eight foot is about right. The drop in is going to be a little sketchy, but the jump is not poppy. It's, it's meant to go distance, not up. Hopefully, it's awesome. I will say, I wish I had a helmet today and I forgot it. Because I, I just bought a new helmet, so I like put my helmet in a weird spot that I normally had it. Uh, story, long story short, I didn't bring a helmet. It'll be okay. But let's uh let's clean this landing up now. Alright, 
so we threw a little bit of snow in the drop-in as well. There's also a Shelby in the drop-in. Landing is prime. We're good. Snack time and then let's send it. You, t you hitting the jump, Shelby? All right, guys, time to strap in. Hopefully my calculations are correct and we're not about to just jump into a big pile of rocks. <laughs> oh, that was money. I'm hyped. Uh, quick drop in jump. But, dude, that's all we got. Let's do it. hyped on this build i'm not gonna lie i'm happy that i took time this covid period or off season whatever you want to say to figure out how to build jumps properly how to eye certain things to be like what's possible what's not possible like this is like literally a perfect jump i'm so happy with how it turned out and we're getting some tricks right now it's so sick jonathan's filming getting the crazy angles you guys liking the angles comment down below do you like jonathan's angles this dude cares he's out here like i could do better i could do better i love it he's he's killing the killing the shots and overall i'm just grateful that in september we still got snow that we can come out and rip and take some turns and we're we're close to 200 days this season do you guys think we're gonna hit 200 days is it possible do you guys want it to happen i know let's rip so what I'm thinking when I'm hitting this jump is there's not a lot of speed. The drop-in we're limited because it's all melted where I'm basically sitting. So the idea is look past the rocks. You're not trying to look at the rocks. You go where you're looking. So I know there's not a lot of speed. I'm literally just going to jump. I'm going to jump to gain momentum and I'm just going to point it straight and I'm looking past the jumps and I'm making sure that my pop off this lip is late because I don't want to jump too early because the earlier you jump, the shorter you're going to go. So I'm waiting until the last second to then pop to then give me that distance and we've made it every time so far without fail we filled the landing in when we were first hitting this and it, the idea is to put a bunch of soft snow there so when you land it kind of gives a little bit well i've hit that spot so many times it's not super firm so when i'm landing it's going to push him back so what we're going to do is i'm going to fix the landing up again try that trick again we'll ride away from it but uh, yeah, we're just gonna make that landing soft again because it's like, Hoo -ah! so this is what I'm talking about. We want this, not this. Ah! Got it. <laughs> so that was half cap switch front side 180. That's terrifying. It, it's so sick being able to just lap after lap after lap. Jonathan's here filming and big shout out to Jonathan for filming because we're getting so many tricks. I don't even know what to do next. All right, so I'd say my snowboard is roughly like four feet. So let's see. About 10 feet gap. It's bad. Backside shifty. This is not a trick that I have. And it's a trick that I want to definitely get this season. I just think maybe, since it's such a small jump and so quick, I could just quickly do it. Yeah, we'll find out. Right, let's look at it because I so crazy the act of doing versus what it looks like In my head I feel like I kind of did it but it could look absolutely terrible on footage so we'll watch it and I'll let you know what I think honestly it wasn't terrible something I can do better is keep my board flat I kind of like took it off access a little bit but 
I never do that trick. I, I, the closest I ever do it is just gapping to a front board. So I'm pretty stoked on that. And uh, I have no idea what else we're going to do. All right, guys. I don't got any more tricks on that jump. I know we almost did a top to bottom with that hit alone. But let's have John strap in. We'll both strap in, we'll do a run, and then we'll get out of here. Whew. That jump session was heavy. All right, Chipmunk, let's get it. Shelby, come on. Baby. Super Honestly guys, what a successful September shred day. Not every single day is this sick when you come out and ride in September. So I'm so hyped on today, but this video is not over. I got something to show you back at the house. So we're just gonna like tell. Boom guys, check out these rails we got. We got an insane cereal. I've never seen a C with a uh, curve like that before. And then we got the flat bar and then the flat tube and then elbow corrugated. These things were donated to us by the fun size crew. They want us to eventually have our own place with our own sick uh, rails and stuff. And Jonathan helped uh, move them with this big burly truck. Cause dude, I couldn't move these with the FJ. These things are insane. But I think would be a cool video one of these days is uh, let's clean them up. They, obviously they've been painted before and they look a little rough, but it'd be nice to kind of polish them up a bit and like get fresh coats of paints on them. I don't know. Could be a fun video for another day, but I wanted to share that with you guys. And then I got to show you something that Roman's got going on in his life. Cause Roman's about to go on his first ever snowboard trip where you get in an airplane and fly to where you're going to go snowboarding. What up dude? Oh, <laughs> all right. So Roman's so excited to go snowboarding, right? Come here. Come show me, tell them about your airplane. No, tell them about the airplane and the clouds. Trump. No, it's jumping back. Someone's not in the mood to explain his airplanes to you. But basically, Roman wants to know when he's going to fly in the airplane. No, it's jumping back. <laughs> and uh, I have no idea what he's saying. But uh, he uh, was no, really excited to- No, jumping back. Daddy, you're jumping back. Yeah, you're jumping back. What do you say? You're jumping back. Jump in the back? No, that's jumping back. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. Okay, so basically every day he gets to take one <laughs> So Roman's super excited to go in the airplane and go snowboarding and he kept asking us every day when he was going to get in the airplane. No, 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 so he had him put these clouds up in the airplane and every day he takes one cloud down and then when there's no clouds that's the day we go get in the airplane right no clouds you excited to go in the airplane yeah. and we just got this in the mail i didn't think this was coming in the mail today this is his harness for snowboarding this thing is the sickest uh kid leash i hate to say kid leash but at the end of the day you do need a harness for your kid um to, for the lifties or anyone to kind of help them get on the chairlift and uh this is like a backpack that you want to put it you want to put it on real quick okay okay so we got to get it tight and fit him because obviously we just pulled it out but so that it has two poles one behind his back and one above him so if you need to pull him onto the chairlift you can strap guns under his butt stand up real quick roman Look at daddy real quick. Hold this, hold this. Okay. So you have a chest strap over the arms, through the legs. I mean, he's a little tiny dude. So maybe we can get it to work, but essentially it is a full body harness, not just like a backpack thing. So with him being all strapped and everything, it's gonna give me stuff to grab and put him on the lift and everything. And then it comes with this insane dog leash style. Come here. Come here, I'm gonna put it on your back. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm putting on you like your Shelby. The leash hooks here, and so you can let him go off, and then you can kind of 
stop it like a dog and pull it closer. So it's really sick. Really excited this came in. If you have a kid that is skiing and snowboarding and you need something like this, this is the best way to go. I'll have it linked in the description. And then of course, when we're going to do Jersey, I'll probably make a whole review on just that backpack once we figure out how to really use it and everything. It's, it's really sick. So that's going to be linked down below. And uh, we're going to do sticker shout out. For today's sticker shout out, we got jazz.mine underscore Chavez with the white or white sticker on the gray looking snowboard. I think that's a burn process. And then the pink sticker on the female snowboard looking so sick guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It's now getting some evolution stickers. Guys, if you want evolution stickers or evolution hat, t-shirts any of it guys it's all linked in the description if you do snag it any of it tag me on instagram and i'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs and other than that dude what a sick day we're actually going snowboarding tomorrow with jonathan once again and nolan from hood nolan just moved to summit county so it's really sick so we'll be riding with nolan who helped make videos out in oregon other than that team guys thank you so much for sharing with us today and as always thanks for watching keep evolving we'll see you guys tomorrow i'm on top of the ocean living like life ain't frozen feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion yeah mama told me i'ma be somebody i ain't never gonna need nobody no oh, you okay <laughs> That was terrifyingly awesome.